Hey guys, it's Mitch. Today, I'm just gonna short video addressing like a lot of comments I've seen on my videos and other people's videos of them in the cistern and the big red area and people are asking how to get up there. Uh, I'm just gonna make a quick tutorial on how to get up there. Basically, it's on the cistern in Nessus, which is down here in the bottom left, and it's way over there. So you have to hit these like cannons here. There's two of them, there's one there, and there's one over there, and you can climb up. You can also use a lot of sparrow tech to get up there. But first I'm going to show you guys just how to get up there without any Sparrow tech. So you just want to follow me and we're going to go around to like the cannons. Now you could make this jump, but you kind of have to like Swords Gate and I don't know. I'm going to make it simpler for the people that don't know really, really know any tech. You could also just hit a Sparrow launch there and make it across, but, but you can also just come around this way. It's, way, it's a little bit easier. Longer, but it's easier. You can drop down here and hit the cannon. And then we're gonna make our way over to the second cannon. And then from here, it's basically right above us. So we're gonna turn right and go back this way. Don't step in the teleport, because that'll bring you back to spawn, so avoid that. Uh, you gotta jump up onto this rock, right here. And then basically we're just gonna climb this vex wall, like, all the way up. The first jump is right above you, and then the next one is also right above you. And you a little bit to the right, and there's a little hole up here. And then you wanna jump out, or actually you can, you can jump out over that way, or you can jump straight up above this tree. And you can land on the tree, actually. And then you can get up here. You can also just jump to that rock. There's a bunch of ways you can get up here. But... And from here, you're going to jump up onto this ledge. And then you're going to jump basically straight up onto this one. Up one more time. And then you're going to jump out and around this. So out. And then up here. And then from here, jump up one more ledge. And then you're there. And yeah, this is just the area. It's basically just a big flat area to practice, like, you know, sparrow flying. It's really good to practice that and you know, hitting sparrow launches and flicks and stuff like that. It's a really good area. Uh, now I'm going to show you just a whole bunch of ways to get up here with sparrow tech. So the first way you can speed this up is by using a sparrow fly. You do have to know how to sparrow fly to do this. Also, you can just hit a flick right here to get over to the cannon, the first cannon. And then you're just going to want to get shot through this cannon, and just go all the way over to the next area. Now once you're over here, don't go into the next cannon, uh, just come up to the ledge up here. And basically you could just jump off the ledge and then sparrow fly all the way up. So the next way you can get up there with Sparrow Tech is you can do a slipstream out of the cannon. Also you can hit slipstream here, and then just get across this, which is faster than hitting a flick. There is kind of an invisible wall right there, but I don't know. So basically you can pull your Sparrow out, like right when you go by this rock, like that end of the rock. And if you pull your Sparrow out when you're in the cannon, you'll break the ring of the suck that the cannon gives you. And then you'll go flying out to the left, like this. And you just do a normal slipstream. So I'm just doing an AS spin. I'm not doing any fancy open slipstream or anything like that. It doesn't really work. So the third way you can get down to the red area is you can hit a slipstream as soon as you get into the cannon. And if you do a dodge before you get past the halfway point, you normally can break the cannon's barrier. This is by far the hardest one to do, and requires the most skill for slipstreaming. So I'm going to do it here in a second. Also, you want to turn to the left and try to slipstream that way so you break the barrier for easier. Like so. And then you have to straighten out and go back towards the red area, which is the trickiest part. But... Like so. 
Yeah, I hope this answers all those comments and questions I've gotten on how to get up to this area in my videos and stuff like that. I also hope this encourages a bunch of new people who are new to sparrows to come up here and start practicing like sparrow flying and other basic things like that. It's a really good area to do that in. And I also just wanted to say before I go, thanks for the crazy support and hitting 1k subs. I definitely did not expect to get that much support, so it means a lot. Uh, also, just for 1k subs, I've decided to make a, a huge Sparrow tutorial that I'm probably going to have done in like a month on uh, just every every Sparrow tech in the game all in one video. It'll be like a, probably like a 20 minute long video tutorial of Sparrow tech. So yeah, uh, get ready for that. Uh, thanks for the support guys. Peace.